Shabbat Shalom. In Parshat Vayetze, Jacob's fortunes change greatly. He begins as a refugee fleeing from his brother Esau, and he ends with great wealth, much of which is acquired from his uncle Levan. In the middle, he gets tricked to serve an additional seven years to um, get Rachel as his wife after Levan pulls a fast one on him. Jacob, the one who previously had been the trickster, gets tricked himself. But I think this roller coaster that Jacob goes through in this portion, a refugee with a stone as a pillow, needing to get refuge at Levan's house, having to work those extra years, having um, to find a way to acquire his own wealth. I think that's very typical of the roller coaster of life. Who would have thought that back last March we would be where we are? in a place where there are well over 100,000 infections a day from the novel coronavirus, where we're getting closer to that vaccine, that Pfizer vaccine that we yearn for, yet we're not quite there getting an FDA regulated and approved. And we're experiencing a lot of the same roller coasters that Jacob experienced in his life. There are times when we feel like he did, overconfident, that we can get what we want. The world is our oyster. There are other times when we feel like we're running away and we don't know if we're going to be able to face our fears. If we're going to be able to continue on in the direction in which we're headed. And God is in the details. God is telling us, just like God appears with the angels in the dream of Jacob's ladder, God is behind the scenes saying things will be okay. Even if they're not how we want them to be right now, they will end up okay. We will survive. We will learn from our challenges and we will eventually thrive. And that is really the epitome of Jacob's story in Vayetze. He grows a lot throughout this encounter. And while his core personality does not change, the trickster remains in him. I think he's a little humbler and a lot wiser by the end of the portion. May we be so as well. May we recognize that when our stability is shaken, when our foundations are unraveled, that this is not how it will always be for us. And may we find the courage and the resolve to strengthen ourselves and to continue on with love, with kindness, and with faith in our futures. Can you hear us? So may it be our will to do so. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful, joyous Thanksgiving weekend which, with much to be grateful for.